you know, I'll be honest with you. At first, I thought, oh, this might be a little bit too true. You've got to figure out a way to build buildings or renovate buildings in a method that can save us money in the long yeah. run. And so Absolutely. I'm a firm believer um, that we build a building to cut down on the maintenance. If we can lessen the number of times that a maintenance employee has to go to that building, to lower the energy cost, then we're doing our job there. And yeah. then we're saving some money and, and that money can be used to pay for teachers and pay for other things, you know, technology for the kids and all that. I, I pay taxes. I'm a school, um, yep. you know, and I'm a school employee that has to look out after those tax dollars. And, and I don't take that lightly. I know that I wouldn't want someone using my tax dollars in the wrong way or doing things in a way that they're not efficient, you know? Yep. Um, so, and, and funding, honestly, in the state of Texas right now is, it's getting tighter and tighter. You know, sure. we all hear that. At that time when I came to Frisco, they were using the software. Um, and and it, that software was really more scheduled around or it was around scheduling. Um, sure. And it did have some other aspects of it, but it was not user friendly. I mean, you needed a PhD from that software company to even understand what they were talking about. And so we started looking and, and you know, I'll be honest with you, the first one we looked at was not was not owner insight. Right. Um, yeah. I hadn't found it yet, you know, and so we start looking at this company and we bring them in and and it was a neat software and, and mm -hmm. it would have done everything we wanted to do. Then we started talking about money. The money numbers, when they threw it out there, they were outrageous. And, and when mm -hmm. I say outrageous, I mean outrageous. Um, <laughs> you know, I do not mind paying for something sure. that we get a quality use out of. Sure. But when they told us that our initial cost and that was the setup and that yeah. was going to take several months, they said to set us up. And then there was the ongoing cost, the licensing that depended how many users we were going to use. And then there was just the upkeep cost. Really, when you look at the amount of money that you were going to spend on the management software, over two or three years, we could have renovated a building. We looked at it and we said, that, that's not for us. You know, we're going to be better stewards of money than doing that. Some districts will do that because they're sold and, and a lot of large firms use those companies. Yeah. And so they just think, oh, it must be the best. Yeah. Uh, and so they end up getting into that little funnel and using that and spending a lot of money to do things that they could do much more economically and, and honestly easier. We finally did find owner insight. And when I reached out to you and you told me the initial cost and, and you told me, oh, no, it doesn't matter how many users or how many projects you have. Yeah. You know, I'll be honest with you. At first, I thought, oh, this might be a little <laughs> bit of truth. You know, and and then you said, "Hey, well, let me give you a demo. Here, here's a lot." Yeah, yeah. And well, I don't know if you were, recall. You know, I I think you thought it was a little too good to be true. So then you call one of our other school districts down in El Paso, Socorro ISD. You talk to Tom Ington, and yeah. you're like, "Hey, what's this old boy telling me? Is it accurate, or is it you know, it's the price going to go way up?" And he said, "No, he does what he says he'll do." <laughs>